All right, everybody, this is going to be uh, the last session here for now until, you know, whenever I get another uh, another Nagat rifle. And whenever I do get another one, uh, I forgot to kind of say it in the first video that I'm going to post up. But uh, what I was going to want to say that I forgot to put it, you know, or say it, is uh, <clears throat> whenever I get a new one, you know, say just one of them, later on down the road, uh, I'm going to basically do the same thing, just take a video of it, tell you what the production is and all that, and uh, I'll just put, like, say, for instance, you know, say this is part three, which I think it is, uh, I'll just basically have that one as part four, and if I get another one, then it'll be part five, you know, I'll just keep doing that for however many I get, you know, so I'll do that, but these are the last four I have, and uh, I said I'll just, you know, squeeze in another one just to finish it off with three and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and get started again all matching numbers on all of them I don't buy them unless they you know have original like stamp numbers you know you know if there's a line crossed out and restamped you know I don't I don't mess with it you know of course unless I find out that it's you know some something unique you know really really unique that unique that uh, you know, I get kind of excited about it, you know, <laughs> and then I'll say, oh, well, you know, it's not 100%, you know, restamp, but, you know, just say, oh, well, you know, forget it, <laughs> I'll buy it anyways, but, anyways, here we go, here's another one. Again, with the, uh, I forget what they're called, but brass little, uh, collar here, so, I'm not sure if that's what, you know, they're calling the collar, but, uh, this one is a 1937 Izhevsk. Go on to the next one. Again, with the brass uh, little collar, Dulio. This one you can barely see the marking. It's kind of uh, kind of faint on this particular model. Or on this particular gun. It's a 1942 Izhevsk. Uh, the way the receiver is, it's kind of like uh, a bunch of lines, you know, kind of going down, all the way down. And it's really, really faint, faintly stamped into the receiver, or into the shank here. I believe that's what this part is, is a shank. Could be wrong, I'm not a, you know, uh, Nagant expert. <laughs> but, uh, Either the receiver or the uh, shank. Actually, I think this might be the shank. Again, I'm not sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but it's very, very uh, faint. And of course, this one, the uh, finish on the, uh, you know, the receiver and everything is, since it is a uh, later production, uh, you know, 42. Uh, you know, they're they're not that well. Uh, uh, finished or you know machined is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know that's when the war was really going off. And they're trying to spit these guns out for their troops, you know, so they had enough guns for their troops, you know. But it's you can see the uh, quality is not as nice as the uh, older production, like like on this 37 here. I mean this is just smooth, 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 smooth. Alright, enough about that, and here's another one here. Had some uh, repair work done on there, on this particular gun. Actually, a lot of them has uh, repair work on the stocks, uh, like this one. I just didn't really get into it. You can kind of barely see right there where this has been replaced during the re-arsenal. All right, now this one is a uh, 1937 Tula. Again, just trying to get it, you know, looking good here, but it's a little hard. This one, since it is a 37 production, it has nicely uh, finished metal work. And this one's going to be a little pain to uh, get up here a bit. Here's another one. Uh, 
this is kind of weird that I noticed it's right here. Uh, it has like, uh, you know, where it's like kind of been milled down a little bit, or you know, filed down, or maybe not filed down, but I never seen them on any other ones. So you don't see them in this one or that one. So that's uh, something unique. I don't know if I have any other ones like that. I never really paid attention. But uh, again, sorry for the shakiness of the videos and everything. This is another Vizesk 1943 production. Another one that's uh, really, really faint on the uh, 1943. Another one that's really faint, you know, on the uh, receiver here. This one is actually was imported by, uh, I think, was it ATI or AT? Yeah, ATI. Rock, Rod, uh, Rochester, New York, I think. I think that's what it says. But. But most of my guns are uh, Century Arms imported, uh, and pretty much mostly the other ones are uh, R guns. You know, it seems like some of my R guns ones are pretty nice. You know, but, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was looking at something. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's bad. You know, again, it's not the best. Uh, you know close-ups or anything. I'm not real good with uh, photography work, but just kind of like a quick video of, uh, you know, my Nagant collection. I know there's a lot of people out there like to see different ones and everything. I try to get a good, clear, you know, shot of the uh, receivers with the dates and everything, but, you know, it's just kind of hard to do for me. But, uh, again, if I get another uh, another rifle uh, and I acquire another one, I'll go ahead and post a video up. And I'll just do it as, you know, part three, four, five, six, whatever, you know. But, uh, you know, so subscribe if you haven't already. If you, you know, want to see, continue seeing more. Don't know when I'm going to get any more. I really don't. But, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe if you want. And if I have another one, of course you'll see it. But, uh, all right, well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to uh, leave me a message. Have a good one.